Have you ever wondered how you can enjoy one of your favorite meals, spaghetti, while making it a little bit healthier? Well, one of the things that I do is I make my spaghetti using spaghetti squash instead of pasta. Here's how. All you need is basic ingredients, a spaghetti squash, spaghetti sauce, either out of a jar, you can make your own. I use lean ground turkey meat to make it a little bit healthier, but lean ground beef or uh, we've even used uh, deer meat as well is perfectly fine. I also like to use spices such as oregano and basil. And uh, some of the people in my family like to top it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, either shredded or grated is fine. So the first thing that I do is I microwave the spaghetti squash about three to four minutes because it's really hard and really tough and you can't cut it without softening it up a little bit. So that's how a uh, little trick of the trade that I've learned to soften it up so that I can slice it. Once I have softened it up, I will slice it in half lengthwise. Then I will use a spoon. I'm gonna scrape out all of the seeds, all of that just kind of gunk, you know, that, that you find in spaghetti squashes or pumpkin. Then I'm gonna take those two halves and I'm gonna turn them upside down. So uh, the squash part is facing down in a eight by eight glass dish. You just want a microwavable dish cause you're gonna put it in the microwave. I add about a, just a tablespoon of water and I heat it for an additional six to seven minutes to fully cook it. You can cook your spaghetti squash in the oven as well, but this is a quick way to get your spaghetti squash cooked. While that is going on in the microwave, that's when I start browning my meat. Um, it's gonna take a couple of minutes and then you can add in your jar of spaghetti sauce or you can make spaghetti sauce from scratch. It's uh, fairly easy and uh, a healthier way of doing it. I like to add spices such as oregano and basil. I do that towards the end so it really gets uh, mo most of the flavor and it's still, it's still there. It doesn't kind of cook off there. And you're just going to stir that together and heat it until it's ready to serve. Again, while that is uh, heating up or once that's done and my spaghetti squash has come out of the microwave, I'm gonna let the spaghetti squash sit there for a couple of minutes to cool. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a fork and typically I hold one of the spaghetti squash halves in my hand and I'm using a fork to scrape out the inside. So it's gonna look like that spaghetti like strings. And that's gonna serve as my pasta noodles. The reason you wanna cool it again is because I have to hold it to really get a good grip to scrape it out. And otherwise it can be a little too hot for my hand to be able to hold it. Then all you do is assemble your spaghetti. You put your spaghetti squash on the plate, add your meat. You can top it with additional herbs and spices. You can top it with Parmesan cheese or however you like to serve your spaghetti. And I found that this way of serving spaghetti using spaghetti squash will actually cut the calories down uh, by a third in my meals. So I can even enjoy a little bit more of it. This has been Jennifer Brown, Family Consumer Science Agent with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service and your food for thought recipe for today.